detective from New Orleans who's been closing in on him. He needed a place to hide. Is he still there? No. No, no, I've, uh, I've taken him to a, a safe haven. The house in the Keys? Yes, a place where you can lose the world. So that explains the Cory Jeff, and you telling me you were going to St. Louis. Yes, and my disappearing act. Is hiding Bobby the best thing to do? He's marked for death row, Rachel. For a crime he didn't commit. Are you sure about that? When I look into that young man's eyes, I see a decent, caring man. He's not a killer. Now, he asked for my help. I couldn't tell him away. You still angry? I'm thankful that this little boy is going to have a father that will risk anything for the people he loves. How many ways do I have to say it? You amaze me. How many? You do surprise How many me. times do I have to tell you? I'm part of everything you do. Right or wrong? Yes, right or wrong. Although I think you're right about Bobby. Even though the world may believe him a killer? You don't believe that, and neither do I. What did I do to deserve you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't move a muscle. Yes, don't move. Hello? Yes, Amanda. What is it? Where are you? Key West. What are you doing down there? I waited up. How was your trip? Exhausting. What was it that you couldn't tell me on the phone? Listen, Mother, I know you're not going to like this. Like what? But I have to tell you, and we'll get through this. We'll face it together. Face what? I don't... I, I can't face anything when I don't know what it is. Okay, okay. I know how you feel about Carl, but the truth of the matter is... He's been he's hiding hi Bobby from the police. You knew? He hit him in the lake house and then took him down to Key West. And you just accepted it, just like that? If Bobby is innocent, he needs our help, Amanda. Let me get this straight. Carl just told you that Bobby is innocent, so you believe it, no question. I think he's right. He's always had a special feeling about Bobby. Then tell him to send him a card at Christmas. The man is a convicted killer. How can you put our lives in jeopardy like that? What if the police had come? What if there had been they some didn't. crossfire? What if Allie would have been involved? Oh. But I would never let that happen. Believe it or not, Carl, some things are out of your control. Protecting Bobby Reno was completely within my control, unless... unless some meddler interfered with my plans. Now, don't tell me you did something like that. Amanda? How was I supposed to know that there was a plan? You tell me the truth right now. Is Bobby Reno safe in Key West? No. He's on a plane headed back to Louisiana. Oh. You realize what you've done. Me, but I didn't do anything. Was well, it just a coincidence then that you were at the house in Key West when Bobby Reno was there? Yes, I went there, but not for the reasons that you think. And the police locating Bobby Reno. You had nothing to do with that, I suppose. I called Jake. It's not my fault. The detective from Louisiana overheard the conversation. Not your fault. Not your fault. It's never your fault, is it? You got it. What the hell were you doing in Key West in the first place? How could you possibly interfere like this? Stop grilling me. You have no hold on me, and I owe you nothing. You owe him respect, oh, Amanda. Oh, respect. That works both ways, doesn't please, it? Look, we're please always stop forever making excuses. Don't you just see how he twists things? Amanda, if you can't live with Carl, then you're going to have to live somewhere else. Live with your hatred and mistrust. So I have to pay the price, even though he's the one that started this, bringing a fugitive into our home. Amanda. Your mother has asked you to stop arguing. I'm going to put it another way. Shut up! Go ahead, blame me. At least I can take... Uh, Rachel. Mother. Uh, mother, Rachel. what is it? Uh. What's wrong? What's wrong, Rachel? I didn't mean to upset you. It's not your fault, Amanda. Here, darling, take this. I don't... I don't think I will. A few sips. Well, that take might it. help. Come on. Mom, what is it? Uh, Rachel. Uh, 
Please get me to the hospital. Amanda, drive the car around to the front door. Do it at once. Oh, I can make it. I can make it to the car. Sure. Call him at home. Well, look, you get in touch. You let him know the moment he arrives. Tell him this is Carl Hutchins calling from Bay City. Yes, that's right, in the U.S. You have to tell him my wife Rachel is ill. And it's more serious than we thought. Look, I don't care if it's the middle of the night in, in, in Sydney. He has to call me. Where's John Hudson? Look, the results from that MRI, the, 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 the results must be available by now. I haven't seen him. I have to go off shift now. Good luck. Oh, we're going to need more than luck. Hudson! John Hudson! show you how much they love you. <laughs> oh. This is your big sister, Amanda. <laughs> and your niece, Allie. This is my uncle. That's right. Oh, of course. Oh, tiny face. Oh, I find them a very irresistible myself. You were right. Well, I'm sorry about the way I treated Carl. Forgive me. You and Matthew acted out of love for me. I'm just grateful we can all be a family again. Amanda and I will live up to the faith you have in us, Rachel. Matthew. Jamie. Oh. Thank you. Thank you all. For everything you've given me. I love you all so much. We love you too, Rachel. I pray that they all come together to welcome you into our family. Tate says he's glad he's not the only baby around here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the children are our future. Remember, I love you all very much. No matter what happens, You're not going no in. matter where I go. Rachel? You're staying right here with us. Where are you going, Rachel? Rachel, where are you going? Rachel? Rachel, no. Mm. Oh, I'll get down to this No. No, honey, it's not the baby. Why are you up? I, I, had, a, I had a really weird dream. said you got a couple hours sleep. You don't have good news for me, do you? I brought in Dr. Nishihira for a consult. Nishihira, he's a heart guy, isn't he? What does he have to do with a tumor? Rachel, the tumor is pressed against the femoral artery. It's created a clot. A blood clot? We can't do a wait and see on this one. We're going to have to operate. There's an immediate threat to your life.
I'll page Carl. No, wait. I need more information, so talk to me. Mom, are you okay? Yes, couldn't be better. That's what the doctor says. Oh, your color looks better. You slept here. I had a bad dream. Hospitals do that to me. Honey, go home. Get some rest and get something to eat. You haven't had enough to eat. Go home. She's giving orders. That's a better sign, huh? Are you sure? Yes. The doctor's just gonna spout medical jargon. You know how boring that is. Can I hug her? Sure you can. Um, I'll be back real soon, okay, Mommy? I love you. I love you. Well, you really frightened her. She hadn't called me Mommy since she was a little girl. Rachel, we have to remove this clot. What are my options? You have none. If it becomes dislodged and it moves into your heart or your lungs, it will kill you. What are the chances of it moving that way? 50-50. Carl always accuses me of seeing the glass half full. So what are you telling me? You're willing to bet your life on the toss of a coin? You tell me that surgery will risk the baby. Any surgery or anesthesia will I'm 26 pose a risk weeks. To... What is... What are the chances for the baby? Rachel, the stakes are high. All right, so if we do nothing... Rachel, Just you can't... hear me out. If we do nothing, and the clot moves to my heart, can you save the baby? There are no guarantees. But I'll tell you this. If I have to choose between your life and that of an unborn fetus... I'm not dying. What, do you have a direct connection with the Almighty? I just trust him, that's all. Well, I believe, as a doctor, that he put us here to do our part. Yeah. I believe that, too. My part as a mother is to protect this baby. The risk to you is too high. If the clot moves somewhere where it's not going to affect the baby, then you can operate. <sighs> Rachel, this is suicide. Listen to me. Can you imagine a life without Gregory? I'm going to call Carl. He's your husband. This he should take part choice. in this decision. Damn it, John, Rachel! If you cannot respect my wishes, then I will get another doctor. What's the matter, John? Talk to her, Carl. See if she'll listen to you. Well, look at you. Oh, you do turn me on when you're all tied up like that. Oh, what's this, uh, what's this all about? John just wants to be on the safe side. Can you tell what I think? I love you, too. Then, how bad is it? Deep breath. She's okay. But Carl sounded so serious on the phone. I know, it must have been a false alarm. Mom and John don't seem to be especially worried. I think we're in the clear. Carl? Carl. Felicia? I'm sorry to leave this on your message machine, but I'm in the hospital again. It's no big deal. But I would like to see you. Boy, I sure know what it's like to be an astronaut. <laughs> be sure and ring for a nurse if you have any discomfort. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. Matthew? Hey, yourself. Nothing so. What's up with you? Well, um, I'll be quick then. I just wanted you to know I'm in the hospital again. No, it's no big deal. It's just a glitch in the pregnancy. No, it's not no big deal. You don't have to be here. Uh-uh. You're gonna get this little baby brother that you don't want very much right on schedule. Do you mean that? Yeah? You really would take care of this little guy, wouldn't you? 
No, I'm all right. I'm just feeling a little fragile because I'm in the hospital and I'm pregnant. I told you I don't need you here. Yeah, I know you have to go. Okay. I'm proud of you. Just remember that. I love you, too. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I don't like the sound of that. Sorry to dump on you. No. I just don't dare share this with Carl and Amanda. What can I do? Promise me. You'll take care of the little one if I don't make it. Huh? I'm not abandoning any of you. Right. But John said this... Claude could kill you. It's only one of the possible scenarios. I don't think that's going to happen, but I have to be prepared. So I made a list. Oh, please, please, please don't talk like this. Paulina. You start feeling like a victim in a hospital bed. I need to stay on top of this. Now I'm worried. I'm worried about Carl. He's gonna need help with baby. Oh, Amanda, I mean, she's the baby. She can't handle children. it. She's not getting along with him very well. She's just too unsettled. You know, young as you are, you've learned to cope with everything and juggle. Joe and the restaurant and, and Dante. <sighs> Am I asking too much of you? No. No, of course not. I will help Carl. If it comes to that, even. <sighs> so unreal. I... Let's hope it stays that way. But you and Joe are a family. Just, just include Carl and the baby in your circle of love, okay? Of course we will. There's just, I, I don't understand something. I mean, if we were to lose you, how would the baby survive? That's why I don't think it's going to happen. The baby does need me to survive. Maybe after, you know, the baby is born. It's not that I want to leave, honey. But at least I will fulfill my purpose then, you know? Does John agree with your decision? Of course not. He wants me to have the operation, but it's not his baby and it's not his life. Now, I'm also wor worried about Matthew and Amanda breaking away from the family. Because of Carl? Yeah. They're not getting along at all, and I'm the buffer. Without me, I'm afraid they'll be angry with him. They already are. Yeah. And if they lose their mother, it'll be... They'll survive. You survived. I survived. You remind me so much of my mother. She knew how to keep a family together. Just like you. That is your job. We're just talking if, darling. Well, I'm not talking if. I'm talking never. Sorry. I've talked to Cass about my will. <sighs> I'm leaving half my state to Carl and half to you children to be shared equally among all of you. The trouble is, Cass pointed out to me, that with the will, if anything happens to Carl, then the baby... The baby gets Carl's money, too. Yeah, and that might be a problem with the rest of the children. Oh, please, Rachel, come on. If something were to happen, the last thing any of us would think about is yeah. the money. It won't be about the money. It'll be about oh, who is loved most. Just please keep them together. Oh, God, you know, maybe I'm not as strong as you think I am. Can you have the surgery, please? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, I have to do this for the baby. <laughs> You do it for Dante. You know you would. I love you, sweetheart. I love you. You can do this. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> now, last thing, Dante. What? 
I want to see him. I just want to hold him, okay? Can you bring him in? Mother, you didn't tell me you were going to be up with all these machines. Oh, it's just a precaution. A precaution against what? Well, because John is cautious. He probably stops at all the yellow lights. Yes, you're right. He does. See? <laughs> he does. Hey, honey. I have an awful craving for some juice. I know you hate that hospital cafeteria, but could you bring me some? Only for you. Great. I'll see you in a minute. she always buy that act of yours? It's not an act. I'm going to make it. John speeds, and you know it. Uh -huh. I only said that because... Stuff you don't want Amanda to know, isn't there? Just don't want to, to worry. Hey. That guy of yours, Alexander. That was pretty cool, they sending me to... Healing water. Yeah. It's really nice. Very nice. Oh. Is he always so extravagant? I don't know, and I don't intend to find out. Hey, um, John and I have set a date. <laughs> Marriage? We're going to get married on July 14th. Hey, July 14th. Right. Congratulations. That's great, honey. Ah, uh, that's five or six weeks from now, and that, that'll be great. Honey, why? Why did you call me? Mm-mm. Something you want to tell me. What is it? Sweetheart, if Carl loses... Is all that machinery? Carl, Rachel asked me not to say anything. I have to respect the doctor-patient confidentiality. I don't give a damn about the doctor-patient confidentiality. Your job is to save Rachel's life, isn't it? Carol, hi. It's Dr. Hudson. Listen, I want you to hold one of the ORs on standby for me. I may be bringing in an emergency. Right. You overheard that. How's Rachel? Well, we'll, uh, we'll see. Hello, Dante. Oh, Jack, Grandpa. Did Rachel ask to see her grandson? Uh, Rachel, um, no, no, uh, he did You smile for your grandmother, little one. Do you hear me? You smile for her. say something to you for a long time. You are much... You are much more daring than any of your characters. Did you know that? I think so, huh? Unbelievable. Your characters are just a pale imitation of, of the real thing. Rachel. Rachel. Oh. Your life is about risk, okay? <laughs> Don't you ever stop taking them. Ow, no. I'm scared. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone is just gaga over Dante. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Thanks well, for the juice, honey. I'm going to uh, give them a little run for their money. They. They love my hats, those babies. Yes. <laughs> okay? Go. I'll be Go. right back. Go. I'll be right back. All right. All right, sit down, Amanda. I'm sure you and your mother have things to talk about. Come on, sit down. Sit down here. Let me have the juice. Okay. I'll be right back, honey. What was that? Oh. <laughs> Look at you, Dante. Hey, you. <laughs> 
little heartbreaker. Mm. You are breaking hearts all over the place already. Can you come see me? Are you okay with that? Yeah. Here you go. Carlino. When? Back to you. Please don't take him away. I want to hold him forever. Yes, I know that, but Rachel's getting tired now. Here we are, back to your mom. It's all right. It's time for you to rest, love. You're as bad as the doctor. Well, what do you expect? I mean, they've got dozens of patients, don't they? I've only got one wife. And it's time for you to rest. I should take Dante home anyway. It's not like it's an emergency, you guys. Well, it's no fun being in a hospital bed alone, so uh, I won't be long, all right? Uh, Amanda, do you remember where I put my diaper bag? No, but I'll help you find it. Mother, please listen to Carl, okay? How about that? Pauline and Amanda? Well, they're both Max's daughters. There's going to be a lot of common ground. Yeah. And how about Amanda? She said I was to, to, to listen to me. Did you hear that? You could have knocked me down with it. I almost passed out. But then I thought, I thought, well, they don't want both of us here in the hospital at the same time, do they? Uh, God. Rachel, you. You're having trouble breathing. I'll, I'll get John. No, wait, wait. I, I know he, he has an op room standing by Rachel. Darling. What? I tried so hard to tame you. Oh, you did, love. You did. I, I mean, I've practically become domesticated since you loved me. Let fatherhood take all the wildness out of it. This is not goodbye, Rachel. I'm fighting as hard as I can. You know I give my life to save you. That's exactly how I feel about this baby. I'm going to ask you once more, Rachel, please. Please let John operate. Let do it now. Let him remove this tumor. Darling, it's worth it. It's a blood clot now. Oh, dear God. Carl, listen to me. You have to try and save the baby, okay? Please, try and save the baby. Baby, okay. Which one? He's the baby. I'm gonna get Carl. Wait. wait. No, Carl. We need a doctor in here. We need a doctor. Oh, oh. Darling, you've, you've been very brave, but I'm not gonna allow you to do this. Please, oh. please just stand by and lose you. She's in pain. She's Mother, terrible pain. What the hell happened? Is it the blood clot? Rachel, clock? can you hear me? Did she tell you that? No, Paulina just told me just now. Why is she unconscious? Well, right, let's get a surgical consent for an exploratory lab. Whatever. Anything, but keep Rachel with us. Oh, my God, is she dying? I don't know. The clock may have moved. The tumor may have ruptured. You won't know until we get to the OR. Mom. This is Dr. Hudson. Yes, I have a priority surgery. So I prep OR2 and have a team standing by. Listen, in addition to a lap tray, I want an OB tray and a cardiovascular tray. Yes. Yes, it's Rachel Hutchins. I have to learn from you as long as you're willing to fight. And I'll be waiting for you right after this operation. It's okay. Right. It's time now, my love. Forever. Jamie. 
Jamie? Yes? Tell him. Tell him. I tell him that you love him. Yes. You. You, my love. You. Always you. It's time. Come on. I'll be waiting, Rachel. Surgery went well. We were able to remove the clot. Oh, thank God. And uh, what about the baby? Um, we uh, we monitored throughout. Everything's fine. Thank you, John. Sure. Thank you, John. With all my heart. Everything's going to be all right now. Listen, I know that we have a lot to be grateful for, but uh, I must tell you that Rachel is not in the clear just yet. Why not? I mean, if the operation was well, a success... Although I was able to remove the blood clot, there were what we call ancillary clots. They're smaller ones. So we'll have to watch her very closely until she's out of danger. And you said they could move into the heart of the lungs any time. The next 12 hours will be critical. She'll be in ICU. Can I go to her? Uh, not just yet. She's not down from recovery yet. It'll be a while. I need some fresh air. Would you join me, please? I'll, I'll meet you outside. I, I want to go to the chapel first. Can I come with you? My prayers the better. Come on. Why did you hesitate when I asked you about the baby? <sighs> Carl, it seems that we um, discovered something totally unexpected about Rachel's pregnancy. What's this complication? It's with the baby, isn't it? I can't believe that we didn't see it earlier, but you're not having a son, Carl. What? What do you mean it's a girl? Uh, no. No, I mean, Rachel is having twins. Twins? Twins. Twins. I didn't believe it myself. I mean, how is that? How is it possible? I mean, Rachel, it's not possible. Rachel had ultrasound, didn't yes, she? There's yes, only ever been one heartbeat, the, 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 the one the second baby, child one heartbeat. The is very small, lying directly behind the first. That's why we never got a second heartbeat. And, and the tumor must have obscured the presence of the second child. Oh, well, that's 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 miraculous. Hmm? Isn't it? I mean, that is truly miraculous. I'm right here with you, Rachel. I wanted to be the one to tell you. You're carrying two babies. Two twins. We feared death. And all the wildlife's longing for itself, post Indian, free for our twins. Oh, feel the joy to my heart. Oh, Rachel, we have so much to love. Don't make promises you can't keep, old man. Now, your dear lady and your offspring are alive. You gave yourself to me. And that was our deal. No, not now. Dear.
children. Why do they always insist on fighting me? Please let me wake up and let this nightmare be over. There's your signature. Signed in blood. Your wife? Your children? Or you? You know, you're getting the best about it. I could have had three of them. Instead, I get only one. You. Come along. Wait! There's not a word in this document about the time and place of my death. Now. Oh, oh please. Please, let, let me care for it. Let me raise that children. Time to go. Time to go. I've changed my mind. You know, I always have the final word. Oh, no. No, don't, please. Please don't take her. Don't. Don't take her. Go up. see me through this. Love is magic, you know. It lights up all the dark places. It can even conquer death. Remember that if you're afraid. Remember what we have to live for. Remember love. Remember love. I'm staying. Down there, too. Think of the danger. You have no power here. The darkness will swallow you up. You think you can get rid of me so easily? <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Remember, I always win. It's all right, I'm here. I'm right here. I had a dream. Are you all right? Yes. Yes, everything's all right. She's awake. Rachel, are you all right? You in any pain? No. Leslie, this is Dr. Hudson. Uh, give me a couple of people to help me out here. I want to go down to radiology. Thank you. Uh, I want you to have another MRI. All right. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. Our love keeps me safe. And it will. Always. When I was lying here, I could feel your love all around me. <laughs> when I was weak, I could feel you fighting for me and the children. You did hear me, you know. I just said children, didn't I? Yes. I dreamed that you told me we were having twins. Is it true? Yes, it's true. There are definitely <laughs> two fetuses. That's why I want to have this MRI done as soon as possible. Two? That's wonderful. Oh, there's no end to what love can do. Thank <laughs> you.
you look great. Good morning, my heart. Please stay. Yes, do stay. You sure you can handle both of us here at the same time? Yeah, it was the two of you together that pulled me through this. I do so want you to be close. Will you, Mom? I'm trying. Amanda and I are becoming inseparable. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far, but... Hey, listen. I'm living proof that you two are powerful men. Now, what's in the bag? Ah, the doggy bag. Well, these... Oh. Two chaps. They insisted on tagging along. Oh, I must have made you laugh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Thank you. You know, you're spoiling me something fierce. Hmm? And these toys and the flowers last night and the flowers this morning. Oh, sorry. If you got flowers this morning, it wasn't for me. It must be for somebody else. Oh, my phone. Best wishes for a speedy recovery, Mrs. Grant Harrison. When I heard you made it through the surgery, okay? God, I felt like I was holding my breath for days. So did I. The thought of losing you. You haven't lost me. I'm great. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I just can't laugh, that's all. No. Ow! <laughs> Only hurts when I laugh. No. I'm so glad to hear that. Because guess what? Yeah. I have to go to New York. Oh, how come? Well, Joe's Aunt Franny broke her hip. Oh. I'm taking Dante, and I'm gonna get her set up with a home health care worker, but I just... I wanted to make sure you were okay first. I'm just fine. You don't have to worry about me. And that's what families are for. That's what you keep teaching me over and over. What families are for, and how they hold us together. No matter how far apart we are. I keep thinking about the promise that I made to take care of your baby should anything happen to you. Yeah. I don't know if I can make that promise. Well, you're right. It does have to be amended. I mean, for two babies. So. Oh, gosh, I know. The two babies, that's, that's so thrilling. <laughs> uh, but it's not that. Um, it's the thought of me trying to take your place. I could never do that in a million years. Rachel, you're what holds this family together. The family holds me together. It's all of us working and loving together. That's the power, Paulina, not me. I don't know about that. Just promise me one thing, that you're not going to go anywhere for a long, long time. I don't plan to, my no. darling. I don't plan to. I can't believe you're actually going to have twins. I yeah, I can't believe it either. I mean, it was enough to consider the challenge of being a new mother, but now I'm doubly challenged. Well, no. look at it this way. It's twice the love. Oh, that's a good way of looking at it. Speaking of love, it seems to me, I dimly recall, before they wheeled me into surgery, you telling me that you were going to get married July 14th. <laughs> I can't. I just can't believe it. But I... In at the crack of dawn this morning. They let her in? Mm-hmm. What was she doing here so early? Pre-reading jitters, I hope. Well, I have news. What? Mostly good, some not so good. Well, tell me the good news. The babies and me need good news. Something quite incredible has happened. What? I just heard it on the radio. Mm. It was a news report from New Orleans. Sick shame. <laughs> well, maybe she and Victoria will not last. Have a chance. I am sorry ab about your bracelet. Doesn't matter. It's just a thing. No one was hurt. I know how much that bracelet meant to you. I don't need diamonds to remember, Mac. No, no. I know you don't. But you do look radiant. How I do you feel? feel radiant. And I'm going to have two radiant babies. 
Mm. Two newborns will not be as trying as young Amanda. I can't believe she accused you of stealing the bracelet. Now she's angry. Everything's such a struggle for her these days. When we are born, we cry that we are come to this great stage of fools. She's lonely. I'll do what I can. <laughs> hey! What's with the street clothes? I'm taking my wife home. Yes. I can care for her myself. We have so much to do, we have to buy two of them. Well, really not so fast. Is there a problem, John? You know that I can't force you to stay, but I would strongly advise it. Why? I'm in no immediate danger. Rachel, the tumor is still there. And until you have it removed, your life is in danger. Or that tumor, your life is in danger. removed it long ago. I'm not going to go against my decision. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize the twins. Carl. I stand by Rachel. Yes. She says... She says she'll feel more relaxed at home. Listen. Is there anything you can possibly do for me here in the hospital that would keep the tumor from growing? I'm afraid not. Are there any things I shouldn't eat or any activities no. I shouldn't engage in? No. John, if you could tell me that you could slow the tumor's growth by having me stay here in bed in the hospital, then I would do it. Rachel, all I'm telling you is that if you stay in the hospital, you'll be closer to medical help if there's a crisis. And that's not a good enough reason for staying away from my family. John, if there's any danger... Carl, I'll be, I'll be the danger is already present. In a month, John, we'll do the C-section. But I can't wait in bed for a month if there's no good reason to. I want to go home. That says it right there. Right, well, uh, I should get the car. I know I'm not a, an ideal patient. I just want you to make it, Rachel. I will make it. And so will these babies. Now, I haven't run this by Carl. But I wanted to write about you first. What do you say? You and Felicia be godparents to the babies? I mean, it'll be your first official duty as a married person. You, um... You don't know, do you? What? The wedding may be off. What? It's a long story. Well, is there anything I can do? Yes. You can help me win back Felicia's love. You're a month away from your, your wedding and, and, and you slept with your ex-wife? It was stupid, I know. It's the first time that we've been alone since the divorce. And it just... You got carried away. Well, John, you got carried away with Felicia when, when you were married to Charlene. What can I say? I'm not to be trusted. No, I guess not. You're acting like an 18-year-old. Yeah, you would think so. Oh, come on, John. This isn't like you. What is it that you want? I want to marry Felicia. My feelings for her haven't changed. But what about her feelings? She feels betrayed, and I don't sure. blame her. But listen, we can work through this. I mean, look at you and Carl. You were separated, hey, but you're back together this again. This wasn't about infidelity. But if people love each other, they can work it out. What if it happens again, John? It won't. I couldn't do that to Felicia. Or to Charlene. I've heard them too much. And Michael, too. <laughs> Greg, we found out. Oh, dear Lord. I ruined everything. She this is a very fast gift to Rachel. I'm offering a reward of $25,000. Okay, I'm listening. Here's a photograph of the piece. It's quite beautiful. I want this thief caught. And I don't want Rachel to have any worry or concern. Okay. I'm all over it. Milady, your chariot awaits. Carl. And there, I won't hesitate, Doctor. I won't hesitate. John. Yes. Remember what I said? 
Think about what you want. It's not just your future. It's Felicia's and Charlene's. I told you already. I'm trying to get clearance. To speak to Shane Roberts, you bloody cretin. Any luck? No, no, the, uh, the prison bureaucracy of Louisiana, they're going to put me through hoops before they let me speak to him. But he's going to be out of prison soon. Well, not necessarily. The police say that he could be tied up in red tape for some weeks. If you went down there, could you facilitate things? Yes, I'm sure I could, but my place is here with you. Well, it sounds to me as though Shane needs some help, and you can give it to him. Yes. Yes, but I can't leave here. Oh, yes, you can. I'm going to be very, very busy buying two of everything. I won't even miss you. Well, maybe just a little bit. Sure? Mm -hmm. I'm very sure. Go on. Josie Watts! Hey, hey, then. Oh, it's hey. good to see you, honey. What are you doing here? Mom brought me over to play with Sally. Good. Then we get to visit. Are you really having the twins? I am. Like Mom and Aunt Marley? Well, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, one of them's a boy. Cool. Do you want to see the nursery? Is it double everything? Just about. But first, let me introduce you to... Where'd he go? Well, I guess another time. Come on, we'll go up to the nursery. Did you hear about Bobby? Shane? Yes, darling, I did. He got off. I know. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it's great. But he's still in New Orleans. Do you think he's ever going to be back? Mom really misses him. This is a... Oh, did I... <laughs> <laughs> when the twins are born, they're going to be my uncles. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe an aunt and an uncle. Ah, ooh, this is weird. God. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? I'm not very good at this. But you know, they're going to be very little babies, and they're going to need all of our love and affection. Mrs. Geller's baby loves it when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, naturally the baby loves it. I mean, that's pretty silly. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Maybe when I'm 13, I can even babysit. Hey, deal. Deal. <laughs> Baby uncle. Boy, life sure can be weird. Way weird. Let her decide who I see. Oh, I know exactly what you're going through. You know, I have a daughter who's trying to decide who I love. Island House tonight. Now, if there's a door, you will call me, won't you? You don't have to worry about the twins or me. I shall miss you tonight, my love. I love you, too. Yes, it's Mrs. Hutchins. Um, can you draw, uh, can you, can you fly me to the keys? Yes, well, as soon as I pack a bag. Great. Okay, thanks. Can't Carl manage on his own for one night? Amanda. If you're not going to make the right decision, I'll have to make it for you, Mom. You're not going to the keys. Just a few more minutes. It felt really weird. Typical Carl. You just get out of the hospital and he expects you to go jetting off to meet him. Well, actually, it was my idea. And I really shouldn't have to explain it to you. Mom, John wanted to remove the tumor, but you refused. You put the baby's safety above your own health. I disagreed, but at least you were in a hospital, damn it. There's going to be a nurse with me the whole time. The lengths you go to for that man. I guess it's because there's something missing in every day that I'm not by his side. And maybe there's a small element of not wanting to have another confrontation with you. Eve, you must let me know. Your first night of freedom. You must be comfortable. Carl, I am a free man. What more could I want? <laughs> I know what I want. Rachel. 
I want my husband. Is this a mirage? No, Carl, it's not a mirage. You look gorgeous, Rachel. I'm so pleased for you, Shane. Why are you here? What are you doing here? How did you get here? The jet in the limo. Why? Why, what's... Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I traveled down here with a nurse, Nurse Owen. She's asleep in the next room. I would feel an awful lot better if you put your arms around me. Shane, mm -hmm. you must excuse us. Come on, you. Let me show you the moon. Oh, that old line. <laughs> Well, blood pressure and pulse are quite normal. <laughs> See, I told you, the walk on the beach was good for the three of us. Well, I just don't want you overdoing it. I'm not. They're just changing position. And besides, Nurse Owen is here. What are you talking about? You've already worn her out. She's in there taking a nap. Because she's not in as good shape as I am. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? Oh, one? I've got a few ideas. Come on, let me have a feel. A vigorous heartbeat. Mm. They sound like two athletes competing for space. Well, they do need a little bit more time to grow up and get stronger. And that's why you, my darling, must rest. Oh, I want a little more time to enjoy this paradise, please. Ah, that's my cue to exit. Stage right. <coughs> As a member of the family, you're welcome to station. Thank you. But now that everything is squared away with the Florida police, I want to get back to base City tonight. Oh, certainly you can spend the night. Thank you very much. But there is someone back in Bay City that I want to thank personally. That's understandable. Now you give our love to Victoria. I will. Well, if we're going to the airport, we best be off. Yes, the causeway is going to be underwater soon. Yeah. I will um, get my stuff and we'll go. It's so peaceful here. You know, in just a few short years, these twins will be running up and down that beach. And we shall make sand castles together. Great fortresses with turrets and a moat and a drawbridge. Mm. Remember, I always win. Spattered on a black canvas. Uh, what is it? The tide's on the tan. Well, you know, if I if I drive Shane to the airport, I'll never get back here tonight. Well, let him take the car. Of course. Of course, I'll pick it up at the lot tomorrow. Why didn't I think of that? Now I get you all to myself tonight, and we can enjoy the beautiful sky. Look. Isn't it beautiful? What are those three stars up there? Is that Orion? Yes. His belt. There's his sword. And the little star to the right? Sirius, the dog star. The Romans believed it to be a harbinger of death. Well, you're not a Roman, so stop looking so gloomy. Yeah, right. I come from Celtic stock. Oh, my darling, you and I, we are on the threshold of a wonderful adventure. Yes. First words, first steps. First tears. <gasps> oh, Rachel. Don't break my heart. Your heart is far too mushy. We have to do something <laughs> to toughen it up. You do whatever you want with it. It's yours already. And tonight, the stars belong to us. I want to keep you safe under this canopy of stars. For as long as forever is. Take care of yourself and those two little athletes of yours. I certainly will, and we hope to see you back in Bay City. I'm looking forward to that. We certainly will. I'll see you out to the car. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no! What are you doing inside? You 
I'm not supposed to be inside. Go on up. No. No, don't get near the fan. Go, go, go. Oh, you little bird. No. You're going to kill yourself. No, no, no. Go, go, shoot. Shoot. Get the nurse now. Rachel, can you hear me? Look, I'm telling you all that I know. Dr. Roberts believes that the baby should be delivered immediately. The road is right now at an impasse until the tide goes up, and that's why we need a helicopter. How long? Well, come as soon as you can. Oh, it's all right, darling. It's all right. It wasn't all right. It was just a dumb bird. I was trying to get out of here. Oh, there was... Uh, was a bird in the house? Stop. Don't be superstitious now. Carl, did you get to the hospital? Yes. Everything's grounded. No medevac can come. There's a thunderstorm and heavy wind shear. All right, how long? Uh, uh, Carl, how long? Know. What? What? Richard, you know this. Ow! Your children are hell-bent on making an early appearance. They can't. They can't. I have to have a seat. I know, because of the tumor. Listen, thank God we have Nurse Owen. She, be she came incredibly prepared, all right? Got everything we need. All right, great. Now, listen, we have everything that we would have in a hospital delivery room. We even have an epidural. What, what about the medevacs? No, they're, they're temporarily grounded. Ow! Okay. All right. Ow! You need to get a press. All right, I will get things set up in here. Get her up. Nurse Right. Oh, and it's going to make a mess. You're going to turn this into a, into a hospital delivery room? Yes, we're going to do the best we can. No, no, wait a lad. A C-section is serious surgery. Have you done this before? Oh, yes, I have. All right? I have. I mean, this is far from sterile. The, the babies are premature. This is dangerous. Listen to me, Carl. Carl, listen to me. You don't know when the medivacs are going to get here. Your babies are in distress, and Rachel is in danger now. What would you have me do? It wasn't supposed to be like this. Oh, I need you. I need you strong right now. Okay? Yes. Um, there's not much other choice, is there? No. Not if we're going to save those three lives. All that I love is here in your hands. Carl, there is a danger. I haven't practiced medicine in four years. And I say to you, this is no time for disclaimers. You better that. Uh, Carl, about the epidural. Yes, I know about epidurals. If you don't... The spine just so you could paralyze Rachel. Ah! You're all right, Shane. so close together, she really should have an anesthesiologist. Yes, well, that's impossible, isn't it? Yes, that's impossible. And well, we can't wait for the medevac, can we? No. Better, then. 
Then do, do what you need to do. Way ahead without the medevacs. Rachel, Rachel, I need you to arch. I need you to arch oh. your back, okay? It'll help separate your vertebra and give me a better entry point. Okay? You hold on to me, love. Okay. Now this will pinch a little, and I need you to hold very still. That's great, that's great, that's great. You're doing great, okay? You can relax now. You can relax now. All right. That epidural should have taken effect. Now, you might feel some pressure, but that's all. I'm going to feel your abdomen. You feel that? No. Good. Let's rotate around her back. All right. Real easy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all right. There we go. That's good. That's good. Are you okay? How should I help? Just keep doing what you're doing. And now I'm going to put something underneath your right hip to help rotate it and position the babies. All right. Good. Break open the C-section crate. It's all set. Got it. I'm frightened. Yes, I know. Huh? But look at this. All the comforts of a hospital right here in our own living room. We will have a brilliant surgeon in residence and a highly trained nurse. And a very devoted husband. Yes, precisely. All right, we're all set. Tell me, how long does the epidural last? Long enough. Don't worry. There's no more anesthetic when this wears off. Then we'll work fast and hope there are no surprises. Okay, would you like for me to explain what I'm doing, or would you prefer if I kept my trap shut? Tell me nothing else is going to go wrong. You hang on, my darling. We're going to have our babies in a minute. Just minutes away. I'll breathe. Deep. Deeper. Okay. Let's deliver these twins. All right. Now, we're almost there. Into the uterine wall. I should see your children very shortly. How you doing, Rachel? It's Carl I'm worried about. Carl's doing great. The anxious father's right here in the delivery room. Some delivery room. Oh, you're making jokes. Listen to this. This is no time to make jokes. Thank you. For what? For being here. What well, else would you expect me to do? I've looked forward to this moment for months, but I didn't expect it to be. Well, I like this. All right, now you feel a little bit of pressure because I'm about to remove your first child. Take the hold of my hands. Can you see anything? Hey, does he look all right? Oh, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. Yes, Pam. Hold on to me, my love. Say hello to your daughter. Your mom in. This is going to have to be a short visit because Nurse Owen needs to wrap that child, and I need your help. You, you made it. Clamp. We both did. Clamp. I love you, baby. I love you, sweetheart. Oh, oh, she's beautiful. You are she's beautiful. beautiful. Yes, you are. Oh, yes. Oh. Welcome, welcome to the world, my little one. Welcome, my heart. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
in now. Throw us down. Carl. Carl, we've got a problem. Carl? We've got a problem. The baby? No, he's uh, fine. I just need help delivering the second child. Nurse Owen? Yes, sir. I'm retracting the abdominal walls. I need you to reach in under the fetal head and elevate. Oh. All right, I've got him. All right, I'm inducing bundle pressure. Uh, what's happening? Uh, your son's making an entrance. All right, that's good. Now, uh, deliver the shoulders. Okay. Okay. Well, here he comes. Uh, all right. He's a beautiful boy. I want to see him. You want a second, Rachel? What is it? The baby is fine. It's a healthy boy. Look at him. Nurse Owen, I need to close the uterus. Oh, I'll be right there. Uh huh. What is it? What's wrong, Shane? Tumor is causing excessive bleeding. I have to remove it right now. Sponge. Here I am, my darling. Chromic Doctor's suture. Putting in a few stitches. Babies help keep the tumor from putting pressure on the vital organs. And now? Clamp. Ligate. The tumor's not in a good position. And there is a serious risk if I remove it under these conditions. Isn't it worse to wait? Not if the medevacs get here in time. I'll call them again. Please don't leave me. I'm right here, darling. Clear the blood. Right Sponge. I'm right here looking at our beautiful babies all curled up together. I want to live. I well, want to be will. their mother. You will. You will. This is an emergency. This is Carl Hutchins again. Oh, please. Please, we need that medevac here now. I've got two premature babies and my wife is hemorrhaging. All right, the uterus is closed. What if they don't get here? Then you bleed to death. Please, Carl. <coughs> Help me. I understand. <coughs> the winds are too high. What about the boat? <sighs> they had to turn back. So what do we do? Go ahead with the surgery. I'll oh, trust and wait. Your call, Rachel. No. I trust you. You see if the baby. If it's dangerous to wake her up. Yes, I agree. I'm here, right beside you. I feel so far away. So long. Touch me. I am. I love you, Rachel. Sponges. I need to check on the girl as soon as possible. What's the problem? Her breathing's very shallow. I'll let you go as soon as I can. Rachel, how are you doing? Sleepy. Carl, I need you to check her pulse. Make sure it's strong. Yes. Damn it, she's losing too much blood. The pulse is strong. It's all right. Tumor's partially dissected. Did you hear that, my darling? He's nearly through. Ah! Rachel, Rachel, what is it? Oh, I feel it. Rachel, I need you to breathe as deeply as you can. It will help. Can you get this the epidural is wearing off. Oh. Breathe. Oh. Breathe. Oh. Breathe. Oh. All right, you have a 16 to an 18 gauge needle in your equipment. Yes. Do you have a stopcock, a tubing, and an extra syringe? Yes. Get them. Get them. Oh, all right. Carl, what's your blood type? Oh. Oh, nigga. Great, you're a universal donor. You ever had hepatitis? No. Oh, good. How about any blood anomalies? Well, in April, I had blood work done, everything was fine. All right, great. Uh, we're going to have to do a transfusion. Oh. How will that work? Directly? Oh, directly, just like they did in the good old days. Put a tourniquet on. Oh, great. Great. What now?
It's working. Well, it looks like we're going to have our candle at evening after all. It's like in the chapel. Now, Carl, listen to me. You're going to draw blood slowly into the syringe, and then turn the stopcock to the right, and then push slowly the blood into Rachel. Now, you got that? I think so. All right, now do that procedure until I tell you to stop, all right? Yeah, I will. All right. Oh, thank heaven. Slowly, slowly. All right, how's the pressure? It's 80 pal. Heart rate's 118 and regular. Oh, Rachel, look at this. Now we're truly one. Nice. Ow. Ow. Darling. Ow. Darling, what, what is it, Rachel? Can you do something for a pain? We're almost there. Oh. Easy, darling, easy. Carl. Have her disassociate. Have her visualize something. Right down. Put the pain. Put the pain outside yourself. Give it a picture. Make it. Have it. Come up with an image. An fireball. A fireball. Hurl that fireball across the room as far as you can. Okay. Put it into a container. I see. And put all of the pain there. Yes, now. All right, now the blood loss is contained. Watch We're almost container. there, guys. Watch that box slip away further. Further and further away from me. Oh, the pain's far away now, isn't it? Um. Okay, the tumor is out. All right, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Rachel, hang in. The sponges are all removed. I need to close. I can't be sure there's so much blood. Rachel. Bagger. What's Bagger? Rachel. Lost consciousness. Bagger. Rachel. Okay, she's got a problem. Good. Come on, Rachel. Come on, Rachel. Why isn't she coming round? She's hypovolemic. Lots of fluids. Fluids wide open. All of her feet. Rachel. Oh, Rachel. God. Bring that baby here. Yeah. Give me. Oh, look, my darling. Look, my darling. Look. How beautiful. How beautiful, little boy. Look. 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 Oh, I love him. Yes. He brought you back again, didn't he? Oh. Those kids are amazing. The way they were placed, they kept that tumor from pressing on her aorta. He knew. You were right. You knew all of my... Rachel. She's out. She's out. We need to start CPR. Get the bag. Go. Go. I know. The medevacs. We'll get out of here. All right? Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five. 32 week preemies delivered emergency C section home. The mother is in hemorrhagic shock. The children are in respiratory distress. They were in the house. All right, I removed the tumor um, from the lateral wall of the uterus during their C section. It needs to go to pathology. I also did a body to body transfusion. All right. All right, we're going to need stat H and H, blood body factor, and if you get two minutes of blood. Stat. Oh, negative. Thank you. Rachel. Look, we'll take care of it. Yeah, Rachel. Rachel, can you hear me? Can you hear me? They're fine. It's They're it's fine, right, Rachel. Darling. They're being right. checked on right now, all right? The clinic. It's all right. You're fine. They're going to be fine. We need to check on you right now, okay? I want to see them. Doctor? Oh, we will, but we'll take care of you. All right. Everything is all right. Two beautiful children. Two beautiful children and a very brave wife. Am I not the case? Hmm? Yes, they want to have a look at you now, they're done. I'll be right here. I'll be right here. Uh, Shannon, yeah. if anything was wrong, I'd want to know. 
here. The babies are fine. They're going to get excellent care. Now, they are underdeveloped and premature, but under the circumstances, they're doing very well. And Rachel? Rachel lost a lot of blood. But because of your transfusion and the blood they're going to give her here, she's going to be fine. Carl, they took it down to pathology. They're going to check to find out whether or not it's benign or malignant. I choose to believe. It's benign. Good. Good. That's good. Yes, and the, both the children will be healthy. They will be. Right. They will be. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad I could help, my friend. Mm -hmm. Help. Help you. You saved all of their lives, and you, you saved my life. And with it, my future. Carl, you gave me my future back. So I think you did a very neat job on me. It wasn't the way I would have planned to get back into medicine, Rachel. But... <laughs> Rachel, I am honored to have you as my first patient. Mm -hmm. You are one incredible woman. I asked you to do an awful lot, and you hung right in there with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she did, didn't she? Yeah. But even you need to get some rest. Okay? Carl, no. you need to... No. Babies. Babies. I, I have to see them. Your daughter... He's in a ventilator and a warmer. She cannot be moved. Please. I, I have to see the little boy then. I need him, honey, to see him as Rachel, much as he Rachel, can. Rachel, Please. Rachel. Rachel, I will do everything I can. So just wait here. I'll be right back. Oh, look at you. Oh, sorry. I'm You're a vision. <laughs> a vision of what? A vision of loveliness. If ever God was at work in this world, it's here and it's in you. In you. In you, too. Because you are here. With me. And then meant so much. Always. Always. <laughs> yeah. Hi. I have got someone here who would like to say hello to his mother and father. Got him? There's a strong little lad. like a little withered walnut. If she seems a little yellow, it's because she's jaundiced and go away. I would like to... Ellen says it's fine. She can't wait to see her mom. I can't wait to see her. <laughs> oh. uh, no. Lucy, oh. they both know <laughs> how precious you are. To come. you 
Who's your friend's her mother? We're going to take you home. <laughs> you and your brother. Where you be safe and loved for as long as forever is. My whole family has. You have the test results. Yes, yes, I understand. Thank you. Rachel. The tumor, do they know? Rachel. What did the doctor say? Well, looks like we have a future together. <laughs> the tumor's benign. Oh, Rachel. I do admire your faith. Oh, well, we had some dark moments, didn't we? Yes, but doesn't it make times like this even better? <laughs> oh, look who's here. Looks like good news. Yes, it Congratulations, is good news. Rachel. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, don't thank me. This is uh, tiramisu from my gorgeous wife. <laughs> and some strawberries I picked up, just a few for, for you. Lola. Oh, thank you, honey. You Here, it. let me take them. Sure. Thanks. You got them? Uh, yeah, I got them. Okay. It. You look terrific. <laughs> thank you. You really do. You feel great. Yeah. And the babies are still the neonatal? Yes. Yes, the boy's fine. The little girl, she's, uh, her lungs aren't fully developed. Is, uh... What does the doctor say about that? Well, he assures us that all will be well when she gets stronger every day. She'll be well. <laughs> Great. That's terrific. She's strong, just like my own daughter. <laughs> tell me about it. I gotta tell you, I just love the way our family is growing and growing and growing. <laughs> I just wish Jamie and Matt were here. It's an official Cory celebration. Oh, yeah. Paulina is crying. Absolutely. <laughs> you really up to all this and you feel the best. <laughs> How could I rest when I have so much to celebrate? <laughs> oh, and the police recovered your diamond bracelet. Did they? Mm -hmm. The suspect was caught with it in his possession. <laughs> and you will never guess who it was. Who? <laughs> I'll get that. I have... Oh, don't tell me Grant Harrison is running for mayor. Ow, it hurts when I laugh. Then don't laugh. No, but darling, it's a joke, right? I think he's very serious. And this is what's got you upset? Yes, silly, isn't it? Yes, it is silly. Look at what we have to be grateful for. All of us are home safe. And Matthew called. Did he? Mm -hmm. He's relieved and he's very proud of me. And he sends you his congratulations. Now that's progress. It certainly is. And Jamie sent me flowers. And Amanda and Paulina, they're just great. We have so much to be grateful for. Yes, of course we do. Of course we do. <laughs> what shall we name the babies? Hmm? Grab one and grab two. <laughs> I haven't even dared think. Well, I've given it, I've given it a bit of thought, and I've, um, I've come up with a couple of choices. Oh, yes, what? Uh, for the little girl, mm. I thought, Bodicea, or Clytemnestra, oh. or Bodicea Hutchins, no, Clytemnestra no, Hutchins, doesn't that. work? No. no. <laughs> All right. Right, how, how about the name of the favorite poet? E. E. Cummings Hutchins. <laughs> no, no. Ooh. How's Elizabeth? In honor of Miss Browning. And Elizabeth the First, patron of Shakespeare. That's a great name. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hmm. And what about the boy? I've given that little thought. So have I. Ryan? No, that wouldn't be right. Our son must have his own name. A name that honors your family and our future. What do you have in mind? Corey Hutchins. Darling, what a gift. You never fail to amaze me. Corey Hutchins. Corey Hutchins? 
It is. At last. Allow me. What is it? If my memory serves me well, didn't we agree not to argue? My mother isn't around right now. Mother! Well, this is the way I like to start the day. Are you pulling together? Hi. Hi, hey, Allie. Hi, Allie. Hi, Allie. Come on, let's go show them. Hey, Amanda. Hi. Bye, Holly. Okay. okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, golly. Here, sit. Oh, I'm all right. You look wonderful. I haven't seen you this happy in... Oh, I know. I'm just delirious. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I just can't stop laughing. Well, even with the stitches? Even with... Oh, God. <laughs> Ow. Be careful. <laughs> I know it. I'm happy for you and Carl both. You've been through so much. You really had me scared that day I came over to amend your will. Oh, can you believe it? It seemed as though we were so near the end and... And now we have a family, and he's so proud. Of course he is. Of course he is. <laughs> Carl spends most of his time at the hospital with the babies. Oh, you should see him with, with a baby in each arm. Oh, I can't wait. What a picture. <laughs> oh, can you stay? No, I've got to get out of here. I should let you ladies oh, do no, your thing. No, no, more fun no, no, no I'm going to let you do your thing. You All take right. care. Right, darling. Thanks. Okay, bye. bye. Thanks for leaving your little Charlie, person. Charlie, I'm out of here. Have fun. Oh, what a nice one. Take care, Allie. Okay. Bye. Now remember, this is her first shower, so you have to show her the ropes, okay? All covered. Okay. Show me out. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Come on. Your dad is so cool. He's the best. So, what'd you get the babies? I got them one white bear and one brown bear. Well, Mom and I got them puppies. We got one blue one and one pink one. <laughs> you know what's going to be really neat? Is the fact that the twins have two really cool babies with us. Allie and Charlie. Thank you. How are you, sweetheart? Thank you. Come here, Charlie. Give me a hug. Hi, baby. Okay, let me talk to Rachel. Okay. Go on. Hey, Hi, you. Charlie. Oh, God, you're home. This is <laughs> nice with your family. Yep. I'm so happy for you. Thanks for coming. Oh, I wouldn't have missed this. Now, tell me the truth. Are you really up to having a party? Every single day seems like a party to me now. <laughs> you know what? You make me actually believe that there can be happy endings. But that's what's so neat. It isn't an ending. It's another beginning. And they just go on and on and on. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. We're going to pull this up. Mother's again. <laughs> You're setting a record here. Donna. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Don't be silly. Jeez. I love setting records. Oh. What is this? Don't tell me. This is from you and your mummy. Yes. Allie made it. Most of it. But it was Mom's idea. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh look. Oh. The Corey's Nodgen's growing together. A family oh, tree. Absolute and it has everyone's baby pictures. It does. Even Carl. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. And then there's Lizzie and oh, Corey. Oh, Corey. We're all family now. We certainly are, and I love it. I yeah. love it. Allie, this is such a wonderful <laughs> gift. It's beautiful. It is, and I love all of my gifts. Thank you all. I love you very much. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. That's good. 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 That's Amanda, by all means. Oh. Crap will never get elected. I mean, who would ever vote for him? Well, not many people here. 
Okay. Wait, you see these babies? I've named them Grub One and Grub Two. You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. The little one put on three ounces since oh. yesterday. And the other one, the laddie, two ounces. That's such great news. Mm. Well, when do they get to come home? Well, I've got a surprise for you, little miss. Corey comes home this afternoon. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> That's her writing. I mean, maybe we should leave Corey here until Elizabeth is well enough to come home as well. What are you talking about? Well, I don't like the idea of separating the twins. I don't think they'll like it either. Darling, they're incubators. Separate ones. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Well, even so. You're scared. You're scared of bringing them home. Of course I am. I'm thrilled, too. <laughs> You oh, hey, you. Are you ready to go home? His discharge papers will be ready in a few minutes, but he wanted his mommy. And I want him. Thank you very much. Wait, he's changed since this morning. <laughs> Do you think so? Yes. Look at that. You see, I never, I never got the chance with Ryan or, or Perry to, to watch it like this. To see them unfurl and discover the world. Well, you're going to have ample opportunity to get to know Elizabeth and Corey. <laughs> yes, Corey's your name. She just smiled. I think he did. Do you think he smiled when he was inside you? I'm sure he did. He smiled at all of the delight he was going to bring you. <sighs> what a sweet thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, do you want to hold him? Yes. Oh, not yet. I've got to, um... I've got to sign the discharge papers. And besides, who could break up this picture of Madonna and child? Oh, you keep talking like that, and I'll go home and paint a picture complete with halos. Take that back. Madonna with two children. Can't leave Elizabeth out. Hurry back. Yes. Faster than a speedy boy. That's your silly father. <laughs> hey, you. There's a very large family waiting to get to meet you. Oh, I know. 